Right guys, so this afternoon we have come to the Palace of the Grand Masters. This is in the old town in Rhodes. This is the main courtyard bit. And this bit's such a tiny little part of it, the palace. I'm going to take the kids around the palace in a minute. Um, it's really, really big. It's Most of it's been restored now, so everything's all intact. And you can see quite a lot of it, to be fair. And it's not been that much of a day-to-day -day either. Um, Adult-wise, it's like six euros each. And you can come around and basically you walk around all this top bit that you see there on the inside of the palace. There's a few exhibitions and all the old artifacts and everything in there. So it makes for quite a nice day and there's a lot of quite a nice stuff in there as well. Um, it's nice to take a bit of a break from painting. Um, two year long struggle with the missus being ill and then losing my dad and then getting really bad with depression. Um, it's kind of took me away from what I like. Um, and what I love quite a lot really and then coming somewhere like this and having a bit of a break after getting over that battle is quite nice really and um, get some nice time with the kids some nice time with my other half now she's better and also now I'm better in myself as well so you can be rest assured guys that by the time you're watching this I will be home and I will be cracking on with YouTube videos and we will be smashing out your requests for what you want to see in the videos so again guys if there's anything you want to see in upcoming videos i've got a few suggestions a few guys want to see a bit on epoxy primer um a few of you guys want to see a few bits on run removal so as soon as i'm home and i've had a bit of family time i'm going to get cracking on that because i'm only really making this little video blog because a few of you guys asked to see what i was up to while i was here in Greece on holiday um, which wasn't something I was going to do and you also kind of feel a bit awkward doing it walking around with a camera in your hand you get a, fun, a lot of funny looks as you're tootling around places and you know when you're sat on a boat and the guy doing the, the boat trips looking at you funny um, but it's been somewhat different because you guys are a bit more of an insight into who I am as a person because I'm not just a painter, I'm, you know, I've got a partner, and I've got two lovely little kids, as I'm sure a lot of you have as well. So, it's just a little bit more of an insight into the Tony behind Tony's refinishing. So, I hope you guys are enjoying, and I'll get a bit few more shots if I can, as we're having a bit of a wander around the actual palace. Um, and if this is something you want to see again, a bit of a video blog or anything like that, let me know. Give it a like. Um, let me know if you don't like it and let me know why and if not we'll just stick to the normal style videos so i'll take you for a bit of a trip through here in a minute so guys this is the palace itself um, it's a really enormous place um, like shots like that you can't you know i hope it comes across in the videos just how big these rooms are like if you look at my missus walking through there you can see just how amazing these rooms are. Um, now, I haven't got too much information about the palace itself. Uh, what I thought I'd do, with it being a bit of a video blog, is just have a bit of chat and a bit of a natter with you guys. You know, about things that have been sort of like going through, a bit more about me, you know, as we, you guys watch and have a bit of a look around in the actual palace itself. A few bits about the palace. Um, as you can see there, like the chimneys are enormous. Um, this place is a really nice place to go around. Even my kids, uh, I've got one who's four and one who's eight. Uh, even they loved it, um, especially with it being a palace. You know, princesses and kings and all that sort of stuff. They were really into wanting to go to the palace. But all these floors that are sectioned off within the ropes, um, these are all predate back to early BC. And they're all actually lifted from the island of Kos, 
um, which is an island very close to Rhodes itself. Um, and they were taken from all the like luxury mansions and that sort of thing. And all these mosaic floors were then remade um, inside the palace after it was rebuilt. Which I have to say, just on its own is a bit of a bit of a huge task because some of these mosaics on the floor are really intricate and absolutely massive. Um, and because they're all so old, obviously pretty much all of them are all cordoned off apart from the new ones that probably have been replicated. Um, but it gives you guys a bit of an idea of some of the things that we were looking at when we were over there. Because I know on Instagram and I got a few messages privately through YouTube and whatnot saying, hey, you know, you, you know, you haven't had any videos up in a bit, what are you up to? And I said, you know, I'm getting, just getting ready to go on holiday because um, I needed a bit of downtime. Um, I've had a lot going on recently, a lot of things on my mind. Um, and plus, as a lot of you know, I've been working two full-time jobs, which has, hasn't exactly been easy. Um, but it's been something that I need to do for the family-wise and also for the channel-wise because um, it's given me a bit of extra cash so I can start putting a bit of extra money into some spray guns and bits and pieces that you guys have said you wanted to see and also I want to try and get um, you know a couple of new cameras and bits and pieces to get set up to try and make the videos even better for you guys so you know although it's really hard work and this past few months while I've been getting used to it it has been excruciating really um, you know, working eight to ten hours at one place and then going and doing sort of like six, seven hours at another place. It's not exactly been the easiest. And it has got me a bit down at times, um, which has made it a little bit hard to try and get home and focus on the channel because I get home and I'm tired and, you know, it's just trying to get that focus to sit here and narrate a video up um, and look through all that footage and put it all together into a video and then narrate it and put all the information in. Sometimes, you know, it's not the easiest thing to do. You have to have your sort of like your mind in the right place in order to do it. So firstly, I'll apologize for that. If, you know, my sort of working arrangements have sort of had a bit of a dent on the channel. Um, but now I've had a bit of downtime. I've had a bit of time to think. You know, I've got myself a bit of a plan together about what I want to do and where I want to go with the future and you know working through that in my mind and um, this next few weeks now I'm going to start putting a bit of a plan in action and working through more what I want to do for me and one thing about this YouTube channel is you know it has changed my life a lot you know we've got a lot of extremely good you know followers and um, we've just while I was away actually um, Having that little bit of downtime, we've just hit a thousand subscribers, which is brilliant. I am really overwhelmed by that. And um, if you saw my post on Instagram when I first started this channel, you know when I got hundred subscribers, I was like, wow, you know that's something really good. And then, well, I was on a holiday to be away, having a bit of downtime, and to hit a thousand while I was away was really nice. Um, you know, it was really nice that you guys are still watching. That you're coming on you're subscribing you're liking you're commenting and even though i've been on holiday i kind of i can't i'm one of them people that can't switch off uh, all the time i was there i was still answering your questions and instagramming and facebooking and replying to queries from people and just trying to help you guys out with any questions and little bits and pieces that you wanted to know even though you know i was five thousand miles away from home because you know for me this YouTube channel now, it has become part of daily life. You know, I record pretty much everything that I'm painting and I'm working on. Um, I get home and I'm checking and I'm answering your questions. If I'm on shifts at my other job, while well, I'm on breaks, I'm answering questions and I'm checking the views, you know, seeing how things are going. So it's, you know, even though I might have looked like I'm a little bit sort of further back from the channel, you know, I'm very much still involved, especially now I'm back, um, and I've had that bit of time to chill out, I've had some nice time with the kids, spent some nice time with the other half, and just got back a bit more towards being me now, which makes coming back and hitting these videos and everything all that much better. And 
Although, like I said at the start, this this is probably the hardest video I've had to make because it's you guys normally are watching and you guys I think you're watching because you want to see the spray gun I'm using or you want to see the paint type that I'm using or a review on a product or whatever but obviously this video being sort of a more personal look at me makes it that tiny little bit harder to edit up so normally a video will take, it'll take me a few hours to edit and then I've got to upload it and convert it and everything this one's taken me half the day um, to do wasn't as easy as my average sort of video but um, you know I think it give you guys a bit more of an insight into the the person that's behind you know all these videos on this channel you know I am an average guy right guys so this bit behind me that is the main entrance to the palace Want to look? You can see just there, this is where inside the old town, all the old monuments and all the old buildings, they're still rebuilding some of them um, and trying to put them back. Back to where they originally were, so that, you know, like my kids and our generation, the younger generation can all come and see, you know, and come back and see a site like that. Because I don't know if you guys can really tell on this video but this thing is huge you know for the kind of time that they would have built this and um, i was speaking to a woman inside and apparently it got destroyed in a big explosion and they actually rebuilt this in the 1930s so you know it would have been quite a huge task and all around you can walk if you come here you can if you ever visit roads you can come here um you can walk all around the moat that runs all the way around this um and like this still got all the old um catapult balls or concrete balls um, and you can walk right through the moat and the moat's huge you know, unless you actually saw it you won't realize just quite how big this place is and it's still all contained in the old city walls are all still up and what they haven't done like with a lot of places is they haven't ruined it by putting a modern town inside it they've kept everything with the small streets and the little alleyways so it's a very huge town inside the old walls but everything's kept in the old way um, and then outside the main walls of the old town in roads then you've got the new city which is very much like the cities we have in England and Paris and everywhere else all the new shops with all the new stuff and um, a couple of old traditional shops but nothing like what you get inside the old town and um, if you guys ever come here then it's definitely somewhere that you should come and have a visit all right So guys, in the walls, these are all the original walls that surround the old town. And what we're actually standing in here is the moat that was around this. You can just see how huge this place is. You've got one wall there and one wall all the way over there. And this was all one big moat. So, we started 
show you guys a little bit of this, something a little bit different. I know a lot of you guys might not like this to an off the gun perfect finish, but hey, this is something that I love about this country, the culture, the history, all the ancient stuff that's still here and that's being rebuilt and you know, something that you can enjoy. And here's some of the catapult balls. I mean that, that thing's like knee high, that's huge. So there you go, and you can see how far away these two walls are. Something a bit different from looking at the spray blue walls every day. Hello YouTube! Hello YouTube! Hello! So today we've come back to the marina in the old town and we're going to take the kids on a bit of a glass bottom boat trip so they can have a look at the fish and see a few of the sights from the sea. It's a nice day here as you can probably see in the background. It's really sunny, plenty of boats about everywhere, nice view of the marina. So when we get on the boat in a minute I'll stick the camera back on and then you guys can come with us and have a bit of a browse around and see some of the sights that we're So this is the boat trip that we took, um, me, the other half and the kids, we took out a glass bottom boat for a bit um, so we can have a bit of a go around the marina and see some of the sights from a different view um, and also give the kids a bit more of an experience um, as you can see off camera, when you're actually looking through that, you can actually see through that really clearly. It didn't quite come out as well as hoped on the GoPro, unfortunately. Um, but hey, that's one of these things that you don't really know until you get home and you put the GoPro on your laptop and download all your footage and realise that you haven't quite got a shot there that you really were hoping for. But still. So guys, you asked for this video. Um, I hope you guys that you know want to see a little bit more about me and have a bit more of a personal video um, have enjoyed this and you know no matter whether it's a paint question or a personal question or anything like that you know message me um, and if you've enjoyed having a bit more of a personal touch in the videos um, then let me know um, like I said it wasn't the easiest video to make um, making a video about yourself um, isn't as easy as making a video about the job that you do every day um, without that sounding bad. Um, when the more personal it gets, the harder it is really to edit, edit up and talking about yourself rather than what you're doing. You know, it's a little bit more difficult, but you know, if you guys have liked it and you guys enjoyed it. Let me know um, and I'll put a bit more of a personal touch into the videos where we're painting and that sort of thing from now on. Because um, I think a few of you that commented before and that asked for this video asked for this for that reason. Obviously, you know, I'm not a robot that sits behind a computer and making videos. You know, I am just the same as you guys out there that are watching this. I'm just your average guy. Um, with a job, with a family, with commitments. So I'm going to leave this video here guys and for you guys that want to see this I hope you've enjoyed it and like I said you know if you enjoyed it give it a like if you want to see more stuff like this and you want me to add a bit more of a personal note into the videos and stuff like that then drop us a comment or drop me an inbox let me know and then I'll start tweaking the videos a little bit accordingly. So I'm going to leave you with a few photos that we took along the travels and I hope you've enjoyed guys.